hey guys welcome back to our channel so today we're making a loaded bacon ham and cheese omelet croissant if you're working with me today here is your ingredient list um so guys what i'm going to do is i'm going to get my little handy little trusty pan that i always use and i'm going to go ahead and spray that with some nonstick butter spray i always do it off the stove um and in there i have about seven or eight eggs that I added salt and pepper to. This is some bacon that I baked in the oven. I always cook my bacon in the oven. I just like the way that it crisps in the oven along with, um, I have two pieces of um, ham here and that's just regular deli ham. Guys, I like to let my spray get really hot, almost to like a burnt butter type of um, look. I always do this whenever I make omelets. I, it just I don't know it's just something that I that I do and you'll see how the brown how the butter the spray kind of like comes up over the side of the um, egg mixture so what I'm doing is I always kind of keep that like on a medium heat if you have an electric stove and what I'm doing is I just let it sit for a minute and just let the egg cook and pull away from the edges so as it cooks you're gonna be able to tell um, because it'll start pulling away from the edges of the pan. And so as it continues continues, continues to cook, um, you'll see me continuously just like run my spatula along the um, outside of the um, pan itself. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lift it up and I'm just gonna just like let that loose egg mixture just flow over to the bottom. And then I'll just continue and I'll just repeat the process over and over and over again um, until it's, you know, until it's set enough. Um, in the ingredient, in the um, ingredient list, um, you do need bacon, um, ham. Like I said, that's just regular, um, like deli ham that I got out of the, just out of the supermarket. It, it didn't come from the back of the deli or anything like that just a slice ham you know like lunch meat that you get or whatever and um your croissants i got those from walmart some sliced cheese some shredded cheddar cheese you can use whatever cheese you want um and i like i said i like to keep my heat kind of between a medium a low and medium um range because if you put it too high it's gonna burn the um it's gonna burn the bottom of the um of your omelet and you don't want that so basically what i'm doing is i'm just continuing to just like lift it and just let that loose egg run to the bottom yeah i'm pretty sure that there's better ways to make an omelet or people have other methods but that's just my method it always comes out perfect for me so what i did was i took that ham and i just kind of just broke it apart i didn't chop it or anything like that and then i took about two or three pieces two and a half pieces of the bacon and just kind of like crumbled it up inside of the um inside of the actual um, omelet that you're gonna see here. And then I'm gonna just take a whole bunch of shredded cheddar cheese. It's finally sharp, final, finally sharp cheddar cheese. I cannot talk to say in my life, guys. But yeah, you can use whatever cheese you want. This is just what I like. I like that sharp, the cheddar is just, you know, it's just so, mm, it just pops. So I'm just gonna just continue let that, continue to let it cook. Um. And y'all, I promise I can enunciate words. I'm just, I don't know what the problem is. So as you'll see, the omelet is perfect. I mean, it came apart a little bit, but that's no problem. Because you know what? I'm going to top it with cheese. And I'm just going to move this over in my pan because I'm going to use that extra space. And you see, I still have a little bit of that brown butter in there. So I didn't, Um, I am going to add just a little bit more butter because I want the croissants to be toasted. And um, those croissants were so fresh. Um, I got those from Walmart. And I'm just going to slice them down the middle. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of butter in the um, pan here. And um, just to go with whatever leftover um, that I had from the Pam spray. And then I'm just going to go ahead and just toast those that way. I just thought it was easier. It's, you know, then popping out the toaster and all that kind of stuff. I mean, if you want, you could put it in the oven. But I didn't want it like too crispy. Um, cause you know, sometimes croissants can get real flaky. So I'm just going to take three slices of my American cheese now that my omelet is done, completely done. And I'm just going to place it on top. The residual heat is going to melt that cheese. I didn't pop it in a microwave. I just put it on top and it melted it on its own. So now our buns are nice and toasted. 
and we're gonna go ahead and take those out and then we're gonna get our plate ready so that we can plate this thing y'all don't mind that little white box over to the side i'll tell you guys about that later um and if you do like videos and things like that you probably would be interested in this video that i'm going to upload upload a little bit later so now i'm just going to take that omelet and i'm just going to just cut it in three and i did that because my youngest y'all little mama can eat honey baby listen she can clear some food so this was a big portion in the end and the omelet was thick so this was enough for me and my husband for us both to get a nice size helping and it was so filling like it was so filling y'all but so I'm going to go ahead and take that piece there. That's his piece. And I'm going to um, let you guys see the inside of it here. I'm working with one hand, guys. I do have a tripod. <laughs> I did get one from Amazon, which is amazing. It has a remote to it and everything. But um, it died. My battery died. <laughs> so I had to use my phone. But that's the inside of it. Look how gooey and cheesy and filled with bacon it is. And it only gets better because I'm just going to take some more bacon and I'm going to put it on top. I'm going to the sliced bacon and that's just a um a piece and a half so just take it and put it on top now you don't have to do that but this thing is a loaded ham and bacon and cheese omelet so you don't want to skip on the bacon why what's the point you know it don't make sense isn't she pretty y'all let me tell y'all my husband he was like this is the best breakfast sandwich i have ever had i say boy who you telling you know i'm a chef don't play with me you know this but here it is y'all i hope that you guys try this recipe and like i said it was about seven or eight eggs that i use and you can use as many or as little as you want i hope you guys enjoyed thank you for watching please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you bye